The first bit of advice is to use a parameter file for your data pump parameters instead of putting them all on the command line. It is possible to put every parameter on the command line, but then you're going to find that it ends up wrapping and going through multiple lines in your terminal window, and it can be pretty hard to read or to proofread. If instead you put your parameters in a parameter file, or what we call a par file, then it's much easier to read, much more organized. And then you also don't have to deal with the quoting and escape characters that might be particular to one operating system or another, especially when you have special characters and things like the query parameter. Now, for consistent exports, and by what I mean there is every object in your database exported as of the same exact point in time. If you want that, then what you need to do is either have your database completely quiesced, which can be difficult, or set flashback time or flashback SCN. And that way, every object, every table, every index will be exported as of that timestamp or that SCN. Otherwise, what will happen is Individual tables will be consistent within their partitions, but after we finish one table, the next table might be exported as of a later SCN. Now, why isn't that the default, a consistent export? Well, the reason is that when we perform a consistent export, we have to retain undo for the duration of the export. And sometimes that could be for hours. So when you're going to have a consistent export, make sure that you have enough undo retention to handle that. Otherwise, the export will end up failing with the snapshot segment too old as some of the data we need gets aged out of your undo retention. In terms of performance, it's a really good idea to gather dictionary stats right before an export. The reason for that is that we're going to be performing a lot of queries on your dictionary as part of that export. So by having the dictionary stats good and current, our queries on user dollar, OBJ dollar, source dollar, tab dollar, and so on, will just run that much faster. We also advise gathering dictionary stats immediately after an import. And the reason for that is that we will have added a lot of rows to all those dictionary tables as we create those metadata objects in your database. So again, having good dictionary stats is just good for performance across the board. So if you want to know how to do this, we would recommend gathering schema stats on sys and system. And you can do this individually with the, the first statement that you see there, or in a multi-tenant container database. Remember our last webinar where we showed how to use CatCon to do this? That statement, the lower one here, shows you how to gather dictionary stats across an entire multi-tenant multi container database. Whenever you're running data pump, it's a good idea to get diagnostic information because you don't know in advance whether you're going to get the performance that you need or the results that you need. It's just good to have that logging. And that's why we produce our log files. If you specify log time equal all and metrics equal yes, it adds really useful information about performance and parallelism to your log files. So let me give you an example here. If you don't put those diagnostics on, just take the defaults, then you get the typical what you've imported in what order and how many rows and so on, and that's okay. But then look at all the detail you get by saying log time equals all and metrics equals y. Not only do you see that the parallel workers are kicking into gear to uh, import multiple table objects in parallel, but also you see how long every individual table took. And this can be really useful when we're diagnosing performance issues because then we can focus in on the right time for an AWR report or an ASH report and on the right object to see if there's something like maybe lob columns that are affecting performance. Now, speaking of performance, one of the main tools to speed up data pump is parallelism. And you can specify parallel on your command line or in your par file. And our typical advice is to set parallelism to be two times the number of CPU cores. Now, CPU cores is not the same as CPU underscore count, that Oracle parameter. And it will differ based on your operating system and processor architecture. On an Intel processor, CPU count is two times the number of CPU cores, but on Spark Solaris, on PowerPC, uh, I believe the, the hyper-threading factor is something like eight. So you're going to have to know your hardware in order to get the optimal parallel setting. Since 12.2, we have 
parallel export and import of metadata for dump file jobs, but we didn't add parallelism for our transportable jobs until 21C. That's for both transportable table space and full transportable. And sadly, we still don't have parallelism for network mode. Uh, that has to do with the fact that we're exporting from one database simultaneously while importing into another. So that process is very different than when we export everything to a dump file and import it later. 